Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I have sat down here and just talked with you guys and uploaded a video onto YouTube. So, welcome back. Today is a very special video, very close to my heart because it is all about home decor and plants. I am so, so excited to show you guys what I got. So I'm just going to jump right into this video. If you think that this is just going to be an unpacking kind of like Show, show you what I got kind of haul. I thought of editing it a bit different this time so while I show you the products that I've bought I will also be playing like a back roll video of shots of me putting that product into my home so hopefully that will keep you entertained by this video and I'm just gonna tell you kind of what I got and where I got all these things from so all my plants that are in this video I bought from warehouse um, I was going to go to another store but I ended up going there but it was way too expensive to <laughs> what I was actually budgeting for so I went to warehouse and I actually found a couple of gems for like one tenth of the price like comparing it to the other store that I went to and, and then some of the other like house decor things are from Kmart and then some of the baskets that I'll be showing you I found at a thrift store so um, warehouse, Kmart and a thrift store let's start off with the th thrift store kind of second hand store um, a little goodies. Actually this plant that you see here behind me, this basket that I got is from a thrift store. This basket was actually two dollars and it is honestly so beautiful. Um, I'll show you the price as you can see it is. It was two bucks and to be honest with you I thought that this would be about 10 to 15 dollars when I saw this basket and then I didn't even see the price on it but then when I went up to pay for it um, they said that it was two bucks so I was like ah, score so yeah this plant fits perfectly into it and and I think this plant is called the jade plant I'll leave everything linked down below that I can link but I can't obviously link this basket because I found out at a second hand store but this plant I will see if I can find like a same kind of plant and link it down below the little paper thing that was stuck into the plant I don't know why it says money tree I'm not too sure but I don't think that's the name I Pinterest it and it is definitely a jade plant that's what they call it so it's um, an easy to grow plant which can be grown indoors or outdoors according to Feng Sui should you grow this variety it is believed it will provide you with good luck and good fortune I mean, this is my first time actually owning proper plants that I need to like take care of. I was a little bit nervous buying all these plants because I was like, oh my goodness, this is my first time. I don't know. I think I'll look like the plants I chose only need water every now and then. So it's not like an every day process, but I watched lots of Kristen John's videos. So I, mean, I think I'm ready to have plants in my house. The plants are just so exciting and so expensive just getting that out of the way I went to like three different stores plant stores and compared the prices and warehouse was so cheap so this plant here cost me fifteen dollars one five oh my goodness I went to another store not gonna mention the name and I wanted to get the same one but it was much smaller it only had like one or two like little leaves sticking out and it was the same plant so J plant and it was like $69 and I was just like is this real life is this illegal do plants really cost this much but yeah so this one is 15 bucks and then the next one oh my god you guys want to see <laughs> Uh, isn't she pretty? It's got like these gorgeous leaves and they're like purple in the back. That is such a cute plant. And then the next one is this cute little succulent. It's very fluffy, very frilly. And then my favorite plant. No, no, that's a lie. All of these plants are my favorite, but this one's like really cool. Is this one. It's called the snake plant. 
I'm like a little kid in a toy store. I am obsessed with this part. This one is so gorgeous. When I got into the car after I purchased this one, like you can see a little like sprout of a green one just like starting down here. So I'm just like, yeah. there's another one coming. So yeah, this one I think you only have to yeah, water occasionally. And this one was 20 bucks from the warehouse as well. So those are all the parts I got. I know it's only three and it's more succulent, but it was quite exhausting picking those, picking those because like, especially if you're a newbie with plants and stuff, I think I'd recommend getting these plants. So it's a jade plant. I'm not sure what that one with the cool leaves are called. I'll leave a link down below and then you get the snake plant. I'll leave three links down below for these plants down below in the description box if you want to buy one for yourself or just kind of see how they look in a different picture. Baskets are so good to find in thrift stores and you'll see what I mean when I show you the next couple of ones I found. I also found this one here which I will also be putting a plant into. This one was $8. I was kind of confused because I was like it's cute and all but it's not as cute as this one. <laughs> Yeah, I was kind of confused to why it was eight dollars, but I think it's maybe because it's got like plastic stapled in. I have no idea, but this one was two, this one's eight. Kind of confused, but I'm glad I got this one because I think one of my plants will look really cute in it. The next one I got was this cute little one here, and I will be putting a plant into this one as well. Um, this one will probably be seeing lots of small plants <laughs> to come. And then the next basket I got is this one here oh my goodness how beautiful is this basket are you kidding me do you want to know how much this cost me eight bucks from a thrift store like oh <laughs> I just got so excited when I saw it it was like hidden behind all of these like vases at the vases vases I don't even know at the top of this uh, like um bookshelf and then I like stood on my tippy toes and reached for it and yeah that's the price there as well so you can see only eight bucks and I'll be putting a plant in here too and one day dreams will come true and I will have a fiddle leaf plant in this basket. I just think it fits perfectly. I mean, it's such a beautiful. Okay. So this is the last basket that I bought. This one was $3 and I thought it was perfect basket for like a fruit basket to put in your kitchen and put lots of fruit in. I don't have <laughs> really nice fruits at the moment and all my bananas have gone a bit gross, but I am going to make banana bread with them tonight. So I'm gonna be filling this basket with lots of fruit and I'm so excited. Isn't it just beautiful? Cool, now we're moving on to Kmart stuff. Who doesn't love Kmart and love spending hours and hours and hours in Kmart? I <laughs> can do it all day. I'm just gonna get straight into this part as well. So I got this cute little white pot stand. That's what it's called. And this was $3 from Kmart. Really cute, really cute. Um, also, a very exciting thing, just quickly before I carry on with this video, I bought a whole cane bamboo living room suite on Trade Me for a hundred and twenty six dollars. Do you know how expensive that, that furniture is? When I saw it, I was like, okay, who's pranking me? This cannot be $126 for a coffee table, a, a three-seater, and two separate one-seaters of like bamboo cane furniture. And then you get two little like side tables with glass and just like, oh, I can't wait to show you guys when I get them. I didn't get two plants for these because um, your girl was running out of money. Let's be real. <laughs> but I... You know what I mean. So I'm gonna pop this in. I'm gonna put those plants in here and see how they look. But where I want to hang these pots are next to me and Joseph's bed. There's like two windows, and the window sills are quite like big. So I was thinking of hanging them in front of the window, um, so they like. So there's some greenery in our room because I'd love to have like greenery in the windowsill 
but we put like our phones and keys and stuff on our windowsill so I thought it'd be cool to get like a plant thing where you can just hang it up so it's not in the way but it looks beautiful when you walk into the bedroom so yeah these two were five dollars each I'll try and find the link for these and put them down below in the description box for you guys. Sweet! So moving on to our next thing is this sink station, which I thought was pretty cool. I always feel like the things you have on your sink just look so unorganized. So I got these ones where you can put like hand soap in and then your dishwashing liquid and then you can put like your sponges and your brushes in here. And it will just look neat and tidy. It is plastic so it's not like metal or anything like that. It's probably not going to last forever but I mean it looks cute and it was only 6 bucks. The next thing I got is just this um, small little container thing where me and Joe will be putting our toothbrushes in and our toothpaste for a bathroom because currently it's just lying on the windowsill and so I desperately needed to get one of these. I really like how there's a little like bamboo part to it. I'm obsessed with bamboo if you can't tell already. Cool and so the next thing I got is this cute little like everything starts like that a eh? cute little so I'm gonna put my olive oil in here at the moment it's just in this big bottle and when I put it when I pour like olive oil onto the pan or whatever it just like goes out <laughs> all at once so this is definitely something I needed and it looks pretty cute. The next thing I got is just some tea towels I got um, just a grey one, a white one, and then a light grey one. So we def definitely needed some of that. I feel like you go through these so quickly during the week. Is it just me or is it anybody else that feels this way? Oh, and this olive oil glass pourer was $4. This one for the toothbrushes was $6. And then the next thing I got is this bamboo duck board. Yeah, that's what it's called. And you basically just put it outside your shower or your bath and you don't need to have any material. You can put like a, a bath mat or whatever underneath it, but I feel like they soak up so much water, it's just not worth it. So very excited about this. And it looks really pretty in your bathroom. Wee! And then the next two things I got is these gorgeous pillows. Don't they just scream out Danica? Is anybody else feeling this? Because wow, I just want to cuddle up with them, but I need to be careful because they've got makeup on. But these were eight dollars each from Kmart. If you go to like other shops, which I won't mention, <laughs> and you buy a pillow that looks even just a little bit like this one, these two, you'll pay like twenty-five bucks for a pillow. I'm not about that business. I'm about eight bucks for a pillow business. You know what I mean? These are cute. I'm gonna put them on my bed or the couches that are coming on Thursday. Whee! And then last but not least, I got some beige cover set. Felicia. <laughs> it's actually called Felicia. Bye Felicia. Yeah, so I'm obsessed with linen, if you can't tell already about all my posts on Instagram and mentioning it in my stories, but this is a linen bed sheet cover. This one was probably like the only expensive thing out of everything I bought today. This was the most expensive thing. This was 32 bucks or 37. So yeah, that is all the things that I got for our home today. There's always room and space to buy more home decor things so this is definitely not the last video you'll see of me with um, home decor stuff so yeah. Um, if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below and let me know what is your favorite product and what you think you might be going to go and buy at Warehouse or Kmart or the thrift store. If you guys will find stuff at like thrift stores or like <laughs> we're in this together you know what I mean? So if you find things that look kind of like these sort of things that you think I might like, let a girl know. So I also want to hear your recommendations and I also hope that you liked my recommendations today. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. <sighs> that was...
exhausting. I need pizza.